Leo, how's it going? Welcome to your singles mid-month reading for July 2021. I'm calling it that, which I've been telling all the signs, but really there's no real designation for this. I'm going to try to make it a singles reading, but spirit will sometimes try to paint whatever they want to paint, guys. You know, it's just one of them things. I am using the Tarot of Dreams today to tell your story, clarifying for you with the many light seers to row. Leo's, how are we doing? Doing okay? Doing good? Doing well? We shall see. For my single, single, single Leos out there, if you are new to the channel, welcome. General messages only. Take what resonates with you. Leave what does not. Leos. Leos. Leo. Releasing some burdens right now. Alrighty. I feel that. Walking away from the situation. Eight of Cups. You walked away from some burdens, some heavy burdens you were carrying. Okay. Yes, indeed. Amen. Now we're single. Doing our own thing. Scaling our own ladder. Going our own separate ways. Okay. For my single. Single Leos out here. Show me what's going on. What's the current energy, please? For my Leo singles, what's going on, Leo? Leo singles, if it resonates, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe, of course, as you see fit. I do appreciate you. Leos, single Leos out here, let me know. Drop me a comment, too. If you like the reading, let me know. Let me know. I want to hear from you. Single Leos. Going on, my single Leos. Beautiful. Okay, Queen of Coin in reverse. Let me know if you're dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or our personal sense of home and stability is feeling rocked. We dare, we are walking away from something right now. We do know that. So our personal sense of home and stability is rocked at the moment. Okay. Is there a person in the mix for Leo? Or you're just straight up dealing with an Earth sign. Interesting. King of Coin in reverse. <laughs> or just the King of Coin. I am looking at a marriage here. That's a divine couple right there. In reverse. Are we long-standing commitment here? Something. Something. Or it has the potential to be, but it's in reverse. Now, I should not probably read the baseline energy in reverse. Let's try it this way. Because then we get into nasty territory. Yes? Okay. I will admit, though, for whatever's coming out here. It's either a marriage or, I mean, we're pulling up matching energy here. All right. Either you stand, you could be a mother, by the way. Of course, mothers can be single. That happens all the time, right? And your person could be your king of pentacles, you know? Yeah, that king of pentacles has been trying to pop around. We've been seeing him making the rounds. Making the rounds, okay? But this is also really just telling me, though, that whoever you're... Eh, I want to see singles, because this is telling me marriage. Marriage. Someone is married or sees the potential in a marriage. Like, if this is in reverse, then it's yet to be. So the person or your strength right now... Leo, okay, is that you're a breadwinner, you work hard for what you do, you operate in the pentacle realm, you're a provider, okay, that can also be true. And this could also be all of your energy, by the way, you know what I mean? You provide, you wait, you're patient, some of you are, for sure, all right? This does feel like a marriage, though. Maybe one that's separated. And I could be seeing maybe you guys separated and maybe you're getting back together. That's a potential story, in which case you are single, returning back to your lover. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll see. Continue to paint this story right along, please. What's the weakness here? 
I will say I've never had the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles just jump out side by side before. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. So if this is yet to be for my single Leos, single Leos out here, then, uh, well, it's looking like it has some great potential. Let's put it that way. What is the weakness here? Or how does Leo perceive their person? Thank you. Three of Cups. Either you want to reunite with this person or, you know, third party. Let's see here. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person is intuitive, or this is the third party. Eee. Leo, no, 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 no. I don't want to see the story for you today. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. No, no. Oh, no. Or, let's take third party out of the mix here. How you feel about your person, Leo? Some of you work in the arts. I think you get excitement around their energy. Um, you meet them, obviously, maybe in group settings. Or you met this person at a group setting. A party, possibly. Here we go. Uh, or you will. You will, I also just heard. Okay, cool. Queen of Cups. Your energy, this person, you see them as emotional or very in touch with their feelings. Um, or you yourself are just heavily emotional right now possibly even intuitive in your own right. Let's see that Queen of Cups, she's kind of screaming at me here. I mean, if we're dealing with Cancer, we do have a chariot right here, right behind her, and we're not, we're not taking action yet with this person. I don't want to force energy out on the board here, but I kind of want to take you, Queen of Cups. You're not taking action yet with this person. You have an event coming up. Something's coming up for you. Something. And a... Ooh, hello. Okay. No, no, no. You know... Mm -mm. How does this person perceive Leo, please? First, show me Leo's individual energy. Oh... How does this person perceive Leo? Individual energy. What is Leo's individual energy? Ready to take action. Four of swords in reverse. You are sleeping on something. Sleeping, resting. If you went through a separation, sure. Natural. Okay? This is also your challenge. Natural to rest on our emotions, on our feelings after we have been through something painful, yes? But if this is yet to be and you two are, this is a divine pair literally waiting to happen here, okay? Waiting for forward movement. Do let me know if you're dealing with cancer that you have waited on. Libra energy here with the Four of Swords. It's clarifying the Four of Swords. You're ready to take action on what? Show me clearly. You don't know? Four and four, four cups. Or taking action again just brings you no pleasure at all. Or missed opportunity. I hear you. Missed opportunity. You want to take action on a missed opportunity. I see. I see. I see. At work. Someone lost some money or you changed jobs here recently. Eight of Pentacles. What is the potential outcome of this single connection? You know, I keep trying to ask for single energy because I want to read for you singles. And it's like I keep getting these overlapping stories of many of you who are and maybe it's just the time we're in right now. Coming out of connections, going through, but coming out, going through, but come it's weird, it's awkward as hell. I know I'm sorry for you. What is the potential outcome here for Leo? In this connection. 
and their person, or their person yet to be. The chariot. Beautiful. Victory. Guess it did want to come out. Someone could definitely be dealing with a cancer who's hot for you and passion. Beautiful. Okay. We have our players. The stage is set. All right. Act one is complete. Act two now. The clarification. Now we clarify. All right. Our knight enters. Stage right. <laughs> oh, hello. There you are. Strength underlying the point here. This could be you. Our knight enters, ready to work on a situation. Three of pentacles. Ready, not, you know, kind of in reverse. Ready not to hold back the passion that they have for someone. Our knight. Oh, yeah. A little interest. A little interest. Got your eye on somebody. Beautiful. I like to see it. Okay. We were concerned about our hearth, home, and stability. There you are, king of wands. I knew it. Okay. King of Wands to the point in the Hierophant. Are we married or are we just looking at commitment? Or are we very spiritual? Or are we thinking about elevating, going to the next level with someone? This is regarding, regarding this situation. Some of you, don't get me wrong, some of you are married out here, but presenting yourselves as single, you didn't want me to know that, though, did you? Nope. Okay. <laughs> some of you are married. You sure didn't want me to know about that Mr. Seven of Swords sneaking around out here, or Mrs. Seven of Swords sneaking around out here. You, some of you guys are married. Mm -hmm. And we're sneaking around on our partners. Is that what's going on here? Is that why we have a third party situation? Highlighted right in the middle of your reading, Mr. Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Someone being sneaky. But this could also all be recent past. By that bit came out, you know what I mean? Ugh. Okay. We got passion. Oh, we're just being quiet. We're quiet now. Quiet. Quiet. Why does this come up for you or your energy? Like, are Leos, are you all just out here? Just, like, why? <laughs> Feels like, I feel like every week I read for you, there's always someone cheated here, someone there, someone that. Are you dealing with someone who's doing this to you, Leo? Good night. Not all of you are. I want to see, again, singles who are ready to mingle. You know? Singles ready to mingle. Page of Cups reversed, but you're not interested in that? Or you owe an apology to somebody? Yeah, but you do. Somebody. Somebody. When I say you, Leo, obviously I default to you because it's your reading, but again, reverse energies as it applies. All right. Although you are here very much clarifying a lot and backing up a lot. As you've seen, I'm not hiding any of this energy for you. You see how the energy is painting here, right? So for some of you Leos, watch yourselves. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to say that to be nasty. Watch yourselves. Okay. And for the rest of you, though, who are waiting, you know, for the for your King of Pentacles to return, your knight in shining red glory over here to trample into your life. All right. You want that passion. I get it. You want that excitement. You want that fire. But if it leads you to do something crazy... Because your energy is so contradictory right now. Never mind. Someone owes an apology to this Queen of Pentacles. I know that. Whoever that is. Maybe that's the mother of your children. Mm -hmm. Okay. King of Pentacles. Why are you in reverse? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gender is irrelevant, of course. But I am looking at a married couple here. You know what I mean? Or a previously married couple. So... Uh huh. Who we spying? Yeah. Who we spying on? Who we spying on? Hiding it too. Acting like little pages with one another. Mm -hmm. Who we spying on? Leo? Who we spying on? Are they were spying on you? Okay. You were waiting. 
waiting to drop a burden because this Ace of Pentacles is in reverse and you are carrying some burden, burden of some relationship that you're in. You were waiting, waiting, waiting for a ship to come in, but you knew. See, the difference in this Three of Wands, guys, is she's holding the ship. There's no ship coming to get her. She's holding it, which means she's got to make a choice actively to go out there and battle those waves. So any choice that you make actively to go out there and battle those waves, telling me you're choosing to leave the past behind. What are you choosing to leave behind, Leo? This Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this failed opportunity here. Right? Because it was a burden. Ten of Wands. The burden that you carried. Because someone was juggling two of pentacles. Someone. So Leo, if you're leaving someone who is doing this to you, good on you, honey. But no one's okay. That's done. I feel like this story is done. Well, sort of. We got it. It's a three of cups. You know, it's a third party situation here. What I'm looking at. You know what I mean? Two to juggling. So... Hello, Queen of Cups. Who are you? Who are you? Shall we find out? This could be you, by the way. You could be the third party. Okay. To the point. Three of Swords. Over the Three of Cups. You see how energy works? Energy don't lie, guys. You think I'm here manipulating anything here? No. It's tarot. It's energy. Energy don't lie. I am an intuitive. Okay? Okay. Energy doesn't lie. Someone was juggling to Great. I didn't want to see this story for you. I'm just bored at this point, as are you. I know you are. I'm like, really? We don't have any single Leos out here who are just on their own path of, of, of enlightenment and acknowledgement and just spirituality and growth. If you guys hate the reading and you want to click off, I halfway don't blame you. I halfway don't even want to finish it. That's just how bored of this energy I already am. You know? I feel you. But let's see. Let's see if we get a good outcome at the end of this because I'm hoping we kind of have moved out of this energy. Clearly, someone's heart got broken here. Whose? I don't know. But we're here to understand why. Yes? Okay. That is the weakness, too, that Three of Swords. This is what you're overcoming. This is why you don't even know. You don't know. You're ready to take action on what? Four of Cups. I don't know. No, you're not. Nothing interests you. You're lying to yourself, and that's a contradiction of energy because you're not ready to take action yet on anything but your own healing. And if I don't see the hermit try to pop out, okay, you want that victory. You want to move on the chariot. The chariot's going. You want to get away quickly, get in the getaway car and go. And some of you quite literally did that, didn't you? Yeah, you got in your car and left for some of you. We're never dealing with cancer. A lot of cancer up here. Or we're Capricorn Virgo here. Or Taurus. And you, of course, tried to pop out a couple of times. Look at all the fours here. Four, four, four. Four of pentacles in reverse. You want to let go. You don't want to guard your heart, but you, you've been hurt, honey. Someone has. Someone here has been hurt. All the fours, triple fours, ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. Four, four, four. What are we letting go of? Let me know. Show me. You don't want to guard your heart anymore. Did you held on so tightly? Someone held on too tight. That's for someone. More Gemini Virgo energy here. Some of you let go of this manifestation. This was a manifestation. Are you calling in a new manifestation? You're calling in that forward movement, your forward movement, the chariot, or you're quite literally calling in a cancer. Okay? Calling in the magician back to one. Back to one, Leo. Back to one. And that's your challenge. Your challenge. Reclaiming this happiness that's in reverse right now. The Ten of Cups. Show me the chariot. The victory. The forward movement. Show me. 
will be revealed in time, this Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are going back to your commitments. Double Queen of Pentacles here. This is the same person in reverse again. Okay? The hidden truth here is some of you couldn't move on. You went right back to where you started. You went right back to your Empress. In reverse. You did a number on this person. Someone did a number on you. I feel it. This is so toxic, guys. It's... This is the kind of energy, it's like, I refuse to leave my commitment. I refuse to change my commitment, the wheel. The devil behind that? Good night. I don't want to fall back into a toxic cycle, but it's a door that I keep open. It's, it's, it's my personal hell <laughs> that I've created for myself and I can't move on. I want to, but I can't. I want to, but I can't. That's what someone is saying. You will stay in a brutal situation. Why? Why? You do no, no service to you or your partner staying in something that does not make you happy. No? That's just my opinion. You obviously don't have to take my opinion. <laughs> okay. But this is so much, this is so contradictory, whoever I'm speaking to. And you're forcing yourself to say something that doesn't make you happy. You or your cross watcher, whoever you are, I don't care. Whoever, and if you're watching this reading, whoever you are, then it's meant for you. Is this a lover situation or is it in reverse? Looks like broken love to me. Broken stability, broken growth, no growth, nothing. I'm actually giving this a shuffle and I don't normally do that. So I just don't want to see this in, this in, this energy for you. I want to see your growth and expansion. Advice please for Leo. Call on your intuition. Your intuition knows. What do you know? What do you know? Some of you are intuitive as well in your own right. So what do you know? Use your intuition. End this pain. This mental pain. Ten of Swords. And this is actually beautiful because the Ten of Swords in this particular deck, as we can see, she's not being stabbed by anything. She's Embracing change. She's embracing the end because she's surrounded by all of this yellow light. There's a yellow, beautiful horizon ahead of her, but she has to make the decision to walk towards it. Her intuition sees it. Some of you know the end, the end is near. You're able to move on. Then we have you dealing with Taurus or Libra. We do have also... Pisces, sitting right there. We also have a Knight of Wands underlying the spread, but that's in and out energy, guys. Play your vibe here. You're underlying the reading today. Is that your energy? Directed out as a Knight of Wands? You're not holding back. You're not holding back passion or how are you using it let's see any messages please for Leo okay beautiful Archangel Uri Ariel second chakra anxiety yeah I bet Let's read. Let's read Ariel. See what she has to say. Let's 
it's about intimacy and creativity. The second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends bright orange energy, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way, so nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. This is about being... Content is not quite the word I want to use, but happy where you are. You don't have to settle, but you can turn a bad thing into a good thing. You can. You can reverse your circumstance as well. And stay true to your commitment and release this anxiety here. Leah, I hope something did serve you in this reading. Please let me know down in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Be well.